today is absolutely a perfect day to view an eclipse, but it's tomorrow. And that's why I'm driving nine hours to find a good viewing spot for the eclipse. I'm trying out my new camera solar filters on a cloudy day. Seems like they work well. All packed, I take to the road on the way to a second home in Pittsburgh and from where I'll have several options depending on the weather across the region. Today the weather's much better than tomorrow's forecast. Good morning. It's early morning in Pittsburgh, about 6.30 in the morning. Very cloudy and even some rain is falling. Uh, so definitely heading west, looking for clearer skies, and uh, hopefully I'm going to see an eclipse today. Time to hit the road, beat the crowd. The sun is just coming up, and beautiful pink sky, and look at that. A pink rainbow in the morning. Maybe that's a sign of good things to come. Forecasts for today are for clouds, except in one place with just 15% cloud cover. Well, there seems to be no traffic crush, at least so far. Rain is giving way to just clouds. A little blue sky is peeking through. The horizon west is looking promising. Clear and sunny. I'm happy. Now perfectly clear. Will this hold up? The eclipse is still four hours away. Traffic remains light and moving. But here at a rest stop, Eclipse watchers have taken most of the spaces and have staked out their viewing locations. This RV park is completely filled, no doubt with long-held reservations. I'm continuing toward the absolute center of totality. Lakeview, Ohio saw totality on the ground three weeks ago. Extensive damage remains from an EF3 tornado that killed three and injured more than two dozen others. It's a reminder more serious life needs exist beyond a rare eclipse. Look, an RV eclipse sale. And here I am, Wapakoneta. How cool is it for the shadow of the moon to pass directly over the boyhood home of Neil Armstrong? first human to set foot on the moon. This has, of course, not gone unnoticed by throngs of eclipse watchers. The Armstrong Air and Space Museum is closed today, but the grounds are filled with people, many who paid $40 to park. No, not me. I'm taking in all the hoopla from my car before passing through the historic downtown area. Many have settled for free spaces at Walmart. Two hours to go before totality, and people are readying their cameras. Displaying serious equipment. Going live online. And just relaxing. I've picked up some lunch inside, but I'm not staying among the crowd. I've checked an interactive map, and I'm heading back east about seven miles to the center line of totality. So on the map I have found the uh, center line of totality, um, and it runs right here. I am, I am parked on the side of the road where the center line is going to run through. And basically it's going to come across this field 
over my position and then over to where these homes are on the other side of the road and continue northward toward the Great Lakes and Maine before exiting the United States. So, sitting in the uh, center line of totality on this uh, rather empty road, away from the crowds, and pretty soon the sun is gonna be covered by the moon. This whole area will be plunged into total darkness for almost four minutes. Cloud cover has increased to 21%, but I still have a clear enough view as the clouds are thin and high. This looks like a perfect spot, all by myself with miles of farmland to hopefully see clearly the moon shadow. Those thin clouds will actually help show it as well. The moon has appeared. Time to test fly the drone. Well, it looks like about two-thirds of the sun is covered now. Uh, still fairly bright out here. Uh, and 20 minutes to go before uh, totality. We're right in the path. Right on the line of totality, the center line. As you can see, a few thin clouds have moved in. Nothing really uh, taking away from the, the view of the eclipse so far and a little patch of blue off to the west. Hopefully in uh, 20 minutes of totality, that little clear section is gonna be right here. Let's see how it progresses. Well, the camera is too good. It lightens up everything, but it's beginning to look like twilight here as the eclipse progresses. Uh, full totality, maybe the camera will see things a little bit differently. The wind is picking up a little bit. That's making uh, things shake and jitter slightly. Perhaps it's a little more darker now on the screen. 10 minutes until totality. Uh, certainly it has a, a twilight feel to it at the moment. Uh, the birds have stopped chirping pretty much. There's still a few. I don't see any insects. There were some flying around here just a minute or two ago. Beginning to quiet down as the eclipse edges toward totality. Behind me, there's a frog that has begun to uh, croak as if it is evening time. Still five minutes away from totality. And that's going to last about three and a half minutes. It is visibly becoming darker, uh, still fairly light on the camera, but I'm sure in uh, totality it will appear much darker. And of course, without a filter, this just blurs it out. It looks like the sun behind clouds, but just a small sliver remains now. We're almost at totality. what it looks like without the lens. But now you can see this twilight. Oh, I just heard a rooster. Showtime, totality is imminent. Up goes the drone, about 250 feet or just under 100 meters. getting darker, and I wasn't ready for this. The final darkness was sudden. We are now being plunged into total darkness.
That was incredibly fast. How dark it became. A total eclipse of the sun, right there. That's without a lens filter, because it's too dark for the filter to work. Oh, this is amazing. Absolutely incredible how fast this came on. And it's lasting about three minutes. This is the shadow of the moon. Light all around. Unbelievable phenomena. I've used no filters. This is the raw, actual video. And while I'm very pleased with how well all the cameras are showing this, there's no substitute for feeling this around you in person. Stars are out. It's twilight all around. The center of the shadow of the moon is here. Incredible. If you've missed this eclipse, you have to make a date for 20 years from now. There's the car in total darkness. Absolutely spectacular. I have never witnessed anything like this. And here comes the sun. It's amazing how powerful just a handful of sun rays are, making a distinct difference between light and dark. Ninety-nine percent of the sun is still covered, and yet the fields are again fully visible. And there in the distance goes the shadow of the moon. It looks like a storm cloud over there. It's so dark as it races north sunlight begins to filter back in just that fast no sooner than I land the drone and the dark horizon is blue again the moon shadow is moving at about 2,000 miles per hour now we have the clips beginning to abate as the moon begins to move past the sun now in greater and greater increments until full sun is restored. And people to the north of here, well, they're seeing the full eclipse at the moment, weather permitting. It turned out with light cloud cover here in Ohio, this was just fine. A great show. Now we are slowly returning to normal as the moon is transiting past the sun. And light is gradually increasing again. An amazing performance by Mother Nature, Father Time, and the force of the universe. One final view of the moon's transit past the sun, 2024.
Goodbye, Moon. See you soon. Here are two bonus views. A shadow chasing jet. And the reflection of the eclipse in my windshield. And so goes the eclipse of 2024. That was really a spectacular sight. I hope you enjoyed it. Something that really you should see in person if possible. Definitely, if you're around in 20 years, don't miss the next one. Now for several hours on the road back to Pittsburgh and the next day to Washington, D.C. While the sights along the road entertain, the experience of this eclipse on the absolute center line of totality was perhaps a once in a lifetime experience. The next total eclipse in the United States is in 2044, and lucky us, again in 2045. Other parts of the world will see one sooner, including 2026, the first in Europe in 27 years. <laughs>